My name is Aaron Lutweiler, and I'm going to do a video today on how to chop a beat. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to go on our software from our computer, and I'm going to do show you how to do all the chopping of the beat, and then we're going to come back to the xylosynth, and I'm going to show you how you can play those slices on each key of the xylosynth. So here we go. We're going to go jump on our computer now. So here we go. We're going to take this track by Galt McDermott and we're gonna slice it so let's preview it this is the track I'm just gonna launch it so that's what we're gonna work with and here you can see the waveform we have it looped for 12 bars so all I'm gonna do I'm gonna just go to our track I'm gonna double click on it and I'm going to go down here to slice to new MIDI we're going to do that, and where it says create one slice per, we're going to do it on the quarter note. We have all these options. The quarter note's going to work just fine for what we want to do here. So I'm just going to select OK here, and as it works, it's creating 48 slices. So, And they're each a quarter note long, they sound. That's the first quarter note. There's the second quarter note for each slice, and so on and so on. So what I like to do to play these on the Xyl of Synth, I'm going to get a drum rack here. I'm going to slide a drum rack over, just an empty one. Close this. So now we have our drum rack here. And each of these is an open slot. And we can put, we have C, D, E, F, G. And we can put each of those slices that we like in one of these cells and create our own drum rack to play. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm gonna grab the slices I like so I like number five here I'm gonna take it over to our drum rack drop it right in C so now every time I play C that's what I get I go back over here we're gonna grab slice six I'm gonna put that on D I'm gonna go back I'm gonna grab slice 12 I'm gonna throw that in our drum rack on E so that's going to form our basic sounds for our drum beat. Now you see that little bass sound at the end. I don't particularly like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little magnifying glass and I'm going to expand this out so I can see the waveform. So it's very clear. And I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to clean up this slice a little bit. So there's where the bass note hits. I'm just going to put it right before there. Just cleaning up this this stab a little bit so now we get a nice nice clean sound all right so that'll be good now to create a little melody I'm gonna go up here to the end and grab some of these other slices that I like uh, for our melody so I'm gonna take 45 I'm gonna put that on C sharp I'm going to take 46, put down D sharp, and I'm going to take one more here, I'm going to take 47, and I'm going to put that on F. So now I have my drum rack finished, everything should be good, I can go to the xylosynth, so now I'm going to play some of these out on the xylosynth, and, and we'll see what happens.